Okay, so welcome to the first lecture in Advanced Calculus. So here, uh, we first discuss uh, limits of sequences and functions. So to start the first chapter, we have the limits of a sequence. So we have here uh, a definition of a limit of a sequence. If the terms of the sequence u sub k head towards a value l, we say that the sequence converges to a limit l as n approaches to infinity. And we write um, in this manner. So it reads, the limit of u sub k as k approaches to infinity equals l. Now, if the sequence does not converge, so if the limit of uk as k approaches, approaches to infinity um, doesn't exist or is equal to infinity, so we can say that the sequence diverges. So, these are the examples of sequences that are convergent. Let's um, determine each sequences. Okay, so let us answer example number one. So, number one, we have the sequence 1 over n. So, the... Uh, this is the usual notation for a sequence. So we write the term 1 over n and then we we close this by using open and close brace. Now, to determine if this sequence converges, so let us compute or um, yeah, let us compute the limit of 1 over n as n approaches to infinity. Now, we know that as n approaches infinity, so as n goes large, this term 1 over n gets closer and closer to 0. Okay? So the limit of uh, the term 1 over n as n approaches to infinity equals 0. So we have an answer that means we can conclude that the sequence converges. Now, let's go on to number 2. So, we have the sequence 6n plus 72 over 2n plus 97. In order for us to determine uh, if this, is, this sequence converges, uh, let us compute the limit of 6n plus 72 over 2n plus 97 as n approaches to infinity. So for this kind of expression, uh, let us recall our knowledge about evaluating limits at infinity. So here, if n approaches to infinity, the numerator approaches to infinity, right? As well as the denominator. So we have the form infinity over infinity, which is an indeterminate case. Now, to evaluate this, um, 
we can divide the numerator and the denominator by n. So we have limit Now, this will become now by by using uh, theorems in limit. So the limit of the quotient is simply the quotient of the limits. And then after that, we know that the limit of the sum is equal to the sum of the limits. So we can distribute this limit inside the parentheses. Okay, and then after that, we know that the limit of a constant is simply the constant. So we have 6 plus uh, the limit of 72 over n as n approaches to infinity. So we know as n gets large, this term will become 0. So we have 0, and then we have 2 plus 0. So we have 6 over 2 or 3. So since the limit of this term is equal to 3, we can say that this sequence uh, converges. Okay, so let's have the third example. So we have the sequence n squared plus 5 over... 2n squared minus 3n plus 8. So let us determine if this sequence converges. So let us take the limit and approach to infinity of this expression. Now, as you can see, as n approaches to infinity, the numerator will become large, so infinity, as well as the denominator. So, we have again an indeterminate case. So, what we will do, we will recall our uh, knowledge in evaluating limits at infinity. So here, I can divide uh, the numerator and the denominator by n squared and then take the limit as n approaches to infinity. Okay, so let us do that. Okay, so the numerator will become 1 plus 5 over n squared and then the denominator will become 2 minus 3 over n plus 8 over n squared. Now, uh, by applying the property again in, li uh, in limits, so this will become 0. 0 and 0 
So the answer would be one half. So since we have a finite number, we can say that the sequence converges. And then finally, we have this sequence. So let us now get the limit as n approaches the infinity of this term. No. Okay, so as we can see, as n approaches to infinity, uh, this term will become infinity, also this term. So we have, uh, we have a form infinity minus infinity, which is also an indeterminate case. Okay, so what we will do? Let us look again our previous knowledge in limits, uh, evaluating limits at infinity. So, we will do here, um, we can multiply this by the conjugate of this expression. Okay, so we will have n squared plus n minus n squared all over uh, this. So we will have n over, so we will have n over square root of n squared plus n plus n and then as we can see here if we take n be infinity so the numerator will be infinity and also the denominator so which is an indeterminate case again now to evaluate this we we need to uh, do some manipulations again so what we have is that um, if I divide both numerator and denominator by um, n squared so let us do that So we have 1 over n over so square root of n plus 1 plus 1 over n. Now, here's the magic trick. Uh, I can rewrite this expression as And as we know, um, the limit of this denominator approaches to infinity. So if this this is approaches to infinity, so one over infinity, you have zero. So therefore, we can now say that this sequence converges.